Hi, this is Jim Ainge from Tech in the City. And today I'm going to show you a project that we actually started working on a little bit over a year ago. It turned out to end up being a little bit different than what we thought. This is what we were looking at over a year ago. This antenna here is actually a 11.6 dBi gain panel antenna. It's a directional antenna, but it's actually an enclosure for a circuit board. And what it was designed for is actually quite different than what we were going to use it for. However, it turned out that even though it's a great enclosure, good waterproof characteristics, great UV resistance, uh, great design mounting system, the problem was that it turned out to be a little bit too small for what we were going to use it for. So we kind of shelved it for a while. However, we revisited it because this unit here, even though it used to cost about $75 previously just for the enclosure with the built-in antenna, no cables, no cords, no electronics or anything else in it, they've recently started dropping in price a little bit. And the reason is that the people who made the circuit board that went in here, well, they no longer manufacture it. So now the manufacturer is starting to drop these down in prices. The boards are still available, but they're starting to drop these down in price so that they can move them. So we started to relook at it again and see what we could do with it. This time, though, we were looking at it and going, hey, this would be a really good WiMAX antenna because we knew the specs were really good. It worked out really well. The only problem was it wasn't big enough for what we were looking at previously, but as an antenna by itself, it's great. And actually, it's kind of overkill, but it's a wonderful unit. What we did is we took the antenna itself, made some changes to it, uh, and re-engineered it, but we also looked at the connectors in there, and we started using high-end, very high-efficient cabling and connectors inside. For instance, the connectors on the outside here, RP, SMA, male, gold-plated. The connectors on the inside are also gold-plated connectors. The cable is an LMR200 cable. Higher efficiency, lower loss than the typical RG58 cable out there. It's three meters in length. We're actually going by kind of the adage of like you don't scrimp on the quality of the cable, you scrimp on the length of the cable. Basically, you get the best cable you can that's still workable. You don't want to go for a half-inch cable. It's a little bit too hard to work with. Very low loss, but very difficult to work with. But then, also, you don't want it very long. You try to make it as short as possible. For most of our customers, we found that a three meter length is ideal. Now, you can extend it if you want. Just realize you're going to have some losses if you do so. Connectors on the inside, the little, little, small connector that we've used to connect up to the antenna into the, and make the transition to this cable is less than two inches long, and it's an LMR100. It is not some of that typical 316 or 196 cable that you use for pigtails. So it's a very high efficient cabling system. A little bit of overkill, but that way it's going to give you the best signal coming in and out of the antenna. The least amount of loss, the most efficient setup. So we basically took this and made it better. Now, what we really love about this and why we really fell in love with it before is the mount. You'll notice on the mount here that we have four screw mounts. We have an arm here that's offset to one side, and we also have this slot here, which is for a pole mount. I'll show you a little bit later. But what's really great about this, if you want to readjust the angle, you loosen that, you lift this up, you turn it to the correct angle. Maybe this is on a window. You want to point it out the window. You turn it and point it out the window. Maybe it's on the outside of the window. You want to turn it and point it the other way. Maybe it's on a wall of your house, and the antenna, of course, is not exactly perpendicular to your wall. Maybe it's at an angle. So then you put it down at that angle. You take this. You screw it back in here. And now it's on there solidly. It's not going anywhere. You'll notice on this one, the mount is flipped. Maybe you didn't quite see that. Notice on this one how the mount is and how this one's a little bit different, okay? The arm is on the lower end, the arm is on the higher end here. Gives you some uh, adjustment capabilities. What's included with the kit is a stainless steel hose clamp, which, so you can attach it to this and do a pole mount. It's also included in it four screws, concrete anchors included in the kit, so you can wall mount it. Also included, is these four suction cups or suckers. We'll also include a locking pin that you put in here 
So when you put it on the mount, it locks onto the mount and it won't come off. In case you want to mount it into a, to a window. So you take this antenna, you're going to point it out the window where you want it to point. Let's say this was the right direction. And that's it. It's done. Since this is a RPSMA connector, we also make adapters. So you could put it onto your Apollo modems. You could also put it onto uh, Atlas Stick, UB, and some other modems as well. Pricing is going to be $49.99, and shipping depends on where we're going to ship it to. We're going to send it U.S. Postal Service, priority mail, and the shipping rate will be no higher than, say, $10. I think it's like nine, some something is the highest rate I've seen so far. And it goes lower from there depending where you are in the country. So give us a call. My phone number is down here below, but keep in mind I'm in Hawaii. Hawaii is six hours behind the East Coast, so when it is like 9 o'clock in the morning on the East Coast, it's 3 o'clock in the morning in Hawaii. Please don't call me at that time. I also have my email down below. Just send me an email, and I'll respond to you. You want to know where you can get them without having to call me? Uh, we also have them up on eBay. You can take a look there. Uh, just do a search for the antennas, and you'll see our antenna in there. If you just put something like Clear Hub Express Antenna, you'll see it there. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Thank you.